Hi everybody. It's been over two months since I last shared a podcast with you. I'm sorry that I have been out of touch for so long. I told Mrs. Ligori that I would need to take the month of January off because of many ministry commitments here in Dayton. January, however, turned into February, and now here we are, about to enter the third week of Lent in the month of March. Know that during this time, you've not been far from my thoughts and prayers. I simply failed to do what I hoped to do. This week, I hope my falling short can somehow be instructive for us all. In the first reading, we are presented with a text so familiar that some of us know it by heart, the Ten Commandments. We're told that God himself delivered these laws through Moses. And we believe that God did this for our good. Life for us is better when we are honest and trusting, when we need not worry about stealing, murder, or falsehood. Though we may sometimes resist rules, I think deep down most of us know that these commandments are for our good. God does not want to limit us so much as to bring us fullness of life. We also need not look far to see examples of human beings straying from God's law. In the Gospel we find a passionate Jesus consumed by righteous wrath, zeal, for his father's house. People had taken what was meant for God and turned it into a business that both exploited and excluded. And Jesus very dramatically, with a whip and strong words, let them know this was unacceptable. So in our readings this week, we see both law and disobedience. There is a curious line, however, at the end of the Gospel, which for me is the crux of this week's message. Jesus, quote, knew them all and did not need anyone to testify about human nature. He himself understood it well, end quote. Jesus knew human nature then, and he knows it now. Jesus understands our complexity, our longing to live by God's laws, as well as our tendency to stray from them. He needs no teacher. He knows us deeply, the beautiful and shameful parts of us. And Jesus has revealed God as a Father of mercies, who loves us when we're at our best and our worst. He understands and accepts us. A person once asked an old friend, What have these decades been like for you? The friend rubbed her chin and answered, They've been filled with sin and grace. Sin and grace. We're blessed by God. We stumble and fall and are graced once again when we return to him. Once I heard a priest say that Lent is not so much about succeeding as it is about failing. We make resolutions to give up chocolates or sweets or better yet to fast from negative speech, hard-heartedness or gossip. We resolve to do better and often by this third week we failed many times. If we have given up because of our failures, we have missed the point. The point is not to succeed so much as to turn to God when we fail, to ask for strength and help, to recognize our need for him. In this week's collect we pray, look graciously on this confession of our loneliness, that we who are bowed down by our conscience, may always be lifted up by your mercy. I've been far from faithful in my weekly podcasts, and I need Jesus 
to complete this or any task. What about you? Let's continue our journey with Jesus together. Mary, Mother of Perpetual Help, pray for us.